So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video that was basically answering questions that you as my viewers have asked me. I posted this on Instagram and I posted this um, on Facebook as well, I believe it was. But I got one other question in my comments uh, following that video and it's from Tom uh, Cart uh, Cartmel, I believe I said that right. And he asked, since running a long time, how's your body holding up? Do you take any supplements? Hey everyone, it's Mark David Heiser from Daddy Did You Win, and thank you once again for uh, watching these videos. I appreciate it. If you could like, subscribe, it greatly helped me out and lets me know also who is watching and uh, also kind of lets me know who my audience is and uh, helps me create videos that um, I believe that you will be interested in. So as I was saying, the last uh, couple weeks ago, I posted a video saying, uh, basically answering questions that you would ask. And as I said in the intro, Tom Cartmel asked me, since I've been running for so long, how's my body holding up? Do I take any supplements? So let's answer that first question first. How is my body holding up? Kind of depends on how you look at it. One, I have been very blessed. Um, I have been actually running since I was like 10 or 11 years old. Um, I'll get more into the timeline here later. But since then, I'm 39 years old right now. So that means I've been going for about 30, uh, 29 years, almost 30 years now of running not had any kind of running injury. I have been very fortunate in this area uh, that I have not had an injury that has sidelined me. Now, there have been gaps in my running. I have taken time off, laziness, life, that sort of thing. But I have been very fortunate that I have not had any kind of injury. So in the 29 years that I've been running, I have done 32 marathons. Now, I know that there are other people who have been running um long uh, that as long as I have they've done more obviously like I said I started age 10 I didn't run my first marathon until I believe I was 19 or 20 years old let's say 20 years old I think was my first marathon and so in the 19 years since then I have done 32 I've got my 33rd coming up in two weeks um, that's still quite a bit uh, to be doing but like I said I know there are people out there who have done way more I know people who have done a hundred um, in, in a shorter time span than that. So I know that 32 is still a lot, but I also know there are a lot more people who have done more than that. Um, but you know what? Honestly, in the past few years, while I haven't had injuries, my body, I can tell, it is wearing down. It is getting tired. I'm not saying I'm feeling injuries coming on, but I'm just getting slower. I have reached my peak. I understand that. I reached my peak a few years ago. Um, but at the same time, I still enjoy the marathons. I'm focusing more on enjoying the experience than I am on times. I'm not getting Boston qualifiers anymore. Um, and I may not ever Let's give you a quick timeline of my running. So I started running, like I said, back at age 10 or 11 years old. And I did my first race. I never trained for this race. I just went out. It was our local harvest festival in town. It doesn't exist anymore. But they had a four mile race. And I just decided because my PE teacher was willing to give me extra credit for doing it, I would go out and run a four mile race. Honestly, like I said, didn't train, but I ran the whole thing. Didn't walk at all. And so as a fourth grader, I believe it was at the time, not too bad. Um, my dad had ran some. I didn't run with him, I don't believe, on that day. Um, I kind of ran my own race, but um, I had I had really nothing to go on. Um Fast forward a couple of years, track, my sixth grade year is my first year in middle school. We had track. I ran track. Seventh grade year is the first year we ever had middle school cross country. I, I got into that, was not the fastest runner by any means. I was probably, I was varsity, but I wasn't, I wasn't all that fast. I was probably in the top seven though. But I did track and cross country then starting from that point all the way through college. 
And that and college is actually where I got my first marathon experience at uh, age 20, my sophomore year in college. NAI, they have a marathon in their national championship for track. And um, one of my teammates, who is actually the coach's son, approached our coach and said, you know, I think Mark could be really good at the marathon. Uh, coach talked to me. We agreed that that's what my focus was going to be. I qualified uh, by running a fast enough half marathon time. Went to nationals. Did that again my junior year um, because of other standards that I had to hit my senior year and um, how it impacted the rest of the track team. I did not go my senior year, uh, but I did still run a marathon uh, shortly after. I didn't waste my training. Um, in 2000, uh, going skip ahead then to about 2005, got married. You know, married life, it kind of it slows you down. Uh, a little bit and you have to focus on other things. 2007, um, after having a child, me and my first wife, we got divorced. Um, and then, you know, I became a single parent. Running really slowed down at that point. It was it was not anything that I was really um, focusing on, focusing on raising my daughter. Um, and obviously the training went away, diet went away, and so on and so forth. Uh, 2012, 2013, I was overweight. I believe I was about 210 uh, as far as my weight goes, I'm 5'8", 210, that's not good. Um, and so I was overweight, started training again for marathons, focused on that. And you know what? I started, fo started running in 2012. By 2014, I was qualifying for Boston. I was probably in the peak, my peak shape at that point, especially coming up in the fall of 2014, where I did my third Boston qualifier, and that was my PR at 255.35, and that is still my PR today. Uh, fast forward, ran Boston 2015 then. Highlight of probably all my running was running the Boston Marathon. And then in 2018 at the Glass City Marathon in Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, uh, at the age of 36, that's the last time I qualified for a Boston Marathon. So if I had to say when I peaked, it was probably right around that 32 to 33 age range. Um, obviously, I still ran some Boston qualifiers in between uh, 33 and 36, but it was not at the performance that I had been running in. So far, like I said, I've ran 32 marathons. Um, for that reason, I'd say my body held up well. Um, however, like I said, I can tell I am slower. I am going slower than what I used to, and I just don't have I don't have the strength really to run as fast as I used to. And I know I don't have, I know this is not answering the question that Tom had asked, but I also don't really know if I have the desire to run as fast as I used to. And that seems weird. I used to be a runner who was focused on the speed and focused on the times and hitting goals. And right now for me, I think it's more of, I want to enjoy um, those who I'm running with. I want to enjoy the actual race. I take my GoPro along so that you guys can experience some of the things that I'm experiencing while I'm running or out in the races. So my focus has really changed. So while that doesn't have anything to do with my body, it does have to do with the way I view running now. I still enjoy it. I get out there and I do it six times, five or six times a week typically. And I'm out there and I'm just getting the miles in uh, while most of them are solo. Uh, now that races are getting back going after COVID again, um, you know, being able to experience that with the running community. That's what I'm enjoying most now. Um, I do still have some goals. I still want to run a certain time at my next marathon coming up in two weeks. But if I don't hit it, I don't hit it. I'll still take my camera along with me and I'll, I'll, I'll share some of those experiences with you guys after my marathon. Uh, but I think more than more than my body changing or more than how my body is reacting to all the running that I've done, um, I, I, I think my mind has also taken a change as well. And just my priorities and my running has just changed. And, you know, something else to go along with that, with priorities changing and everything. I've got three kids. Um, one is going to be a freshman in high school next year, and she's getting ready for her first year of high school cross country. Um, and I have another daughter. Her focus is not so much on running. She She's a part of the middle school cross country team. Um, she is on the track team, although she's also a thrower on the track team. So her her focus on track is, uh, is mostly on that, but I, we do still have her run some distance races in track. Uh, 
so her passion is not as much in running. And then our youngest son, I think he uh, he's kind of in still the beginner. We, we mainly have him do mile races and stuff like that. Um, he's only eight. We don't push him too much. But, um, you know, I think he could be a really good runner if he really wants to be. Um, so my focus is on helping my kids get better. Um, do I think they need to be the top in their school or on their team? Absolutely not. But just helping them reach their best potential. And so that's where I'm, where a lot more of my focus is as well as helping them out as well. Um, and, and right now, because they're in track season, I'm not running with them as much. But after track season in the summer, that's where uh, I'll probably be running with them uh, some as well, just to help them train and get ready for the season. If for nothing else, just to stay in shape. You know, it's better than sitting around in the house playing video games or watching TV all day, getting them out and doing something else. Um, so my focus is also on their health and making sure they're active and they're healthy. Now, all that to say, um, for Tom's second part, do you take any supplements? No, I don't. Um, should I? Probably. Um, I, I never claim to be the type of runner or type of vlogger who's going to come on here and preach health to preach uh, nutrition, stuff like that. That's not me. I'd be lying to you through my teeth. I do not have the best diet in the world. I hate vegetables. I don't eat salads. I hate that crap. Um, I like my red meats. I like my steaks and, and all that stuff. I like, I mean, chicken's healthier, but um, I like, I like my meat. I don't like vegetables all that much. Um, and I don't take supplements. Should I? Yes, I should. Should I change my diet? Probably. Am I going to? No, I'm not. Um, I don't, I, I just, it's just not who I am. Um, and I, I don't care. Um, so I guess that answers the second part. Um, also, you know, I, for my day job, I, I work from an office. I work out of my car a lot. And so obviously the gas station food is kind of tempting. Um, and so that, that wreaks havoc on my diet as well. But like I said, I'm also going to be very open, very honest with you. I am not the fit runner, like the, the lean runner, I guess I should say. Um, I'm kind of your everyday person out running. And that's because I, I don't do everything that a runner should do, especially when it comes to their diet. So do I take supplements? No. Um, but, you know, if, if that's you, if that's the path that you're taking, absolutely you should do it. Um, obviously find, do your research, figure out what's best for you. Uh, but I am not the person to come to for that kind of advice. So, uh, thank you very much once again for watching. I hope this Tom, this answered your questions and I hope this kind of gives, uh, all the other viewers an idea of kind of my running history, where I'm at right now and, uh, what my focuses are. So until next time, have a great day and have a great run.